Hello, Les from Thailand here, and today's video is going to be about I've got it wrong with my solar. A couple of things have gone wrong with my solar um, because of my location in Thailand with regard to the, the, the sun's angle and how it alters during the year. I set all my solar panels up in the winter time so the sun was at a different angle and now here we are in June, six months later, the sun's angle, oh it's totally changed so I have to do a, a big rethink with regard to my solar panels. Now again, if, if you look at this picture here, I originally set it up in the winter time and it was to shade the side of the wall from the sun to stop the wall from getting hot, therefore transferring the heat into the house. But now as you can see, the shadow level has come way, way down, halfway across the, the garden. So I've had to alter the, the solar panel and build a different frame and move it away from the house because now the house is totally shaded once the the sun gets at midday um so yeah i made a mistake with that also whilst we were away for a month we had some very heavy thunderstorms and although we have surge protection devices on it the inverter broke now whether that was a result of the storms or not i don't know or whether it's because it was a cheap inverter the inverter was 2500 baht with no guarantee uh, as you can see in the pictures there i took it apart and as best as my knowledge as best as my ability i had a look to see what i could find wrong with it now two mosfets aren't working on there or they're faulty so i need to renew the mosfets and hopefully that will make the inverter work again but at the minute it, it doesn't make financial sense to buy a new inverter this inverter was about 2500 baht so I'm a saving 200 baht a month. So I've only had the inverter now for six months and it's gone already. So is it worth buying another cheap inverter? Because it's going to take longer now to pay back. A grid tie inverter with a guarantee for a five year guarantee is going to cost 10,000 baht. And as, as I say, saving only 200 baht a day, uh, is it worthwhile doing it? So I think I'm going to have a look at different alternatives. I may end up buying a battery and a solar charger and then running various things off the battery. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look into that now and see which way is the best direction to go. If anybody's got any other advice, please leave a comment down below and I'll gladly read and listen and see what you have to say with regard to payback time for solar. The other thing that's gone wrong with the solar as well, if you have a look at this picture here. Now those three little solar panels here charging the three lights that i've got on my columns of my house now again in the winter time the sun shone directly onto the pillar the three solar panels were facing the sun so during the day they were fully charged so gradually as the sun alters its direction so then the panels aren't in full sunlight all day so i've had to alter them panels also with no direct light onto the panels they still charge the the lights up but then they only lasted for four or five hours and then they went dim and obviously they're rated at 10 to 14 hours so the solar panels i've altered them so they're facing straight up to get the best of the sunlight available as you can see i built a bracket off the wall now because we rent this house the whole idea is not to have them fastened onto the roof so therefore if we move then we can't take them with us I don't want to cause the landlady any extra expense by putting brackets onto the roof so I could put my solar panels on. So I'll put it on brackets so if we move from this location I can disassemble the brackets and take them all with me. The same with a big 340 watt solar panel. That's just lent against the wall now because its present location wasn't doing any good. It was blocked by the shade for half the day. So as you can see by the graph on there, the, the different angles that the solar panel in my location in Rayong, Thailand has to be there's three different locations to get the full benefit of the sunlight so basically I need to refigure it out and put it into a, a better location so that's my mistake with regard to my solar um, I hope people can learn from this so if anybody's got any suggestions with regard to a battery and a solar charger and uh, another inverter which is guaranteed to be able to work household appliances then i'm all ears i'll listen to anything everybody has to say but the success with regard to buying the solar lights 
they're good. Now the big light that I bought, this one here, I've, I've had this now for six months and that's a 65 watt solar light and charger. So therefore it's paid for itself now. So any, any extra lighting that I get from that, it's all, it's all paid for. So it doesn't cost me any electricity to run. I'm very impressed with the, with the output of it, 65 watts, and it does last a good 12 hours. It comes on at 6.30 on a night and it goes off at six o'clock on the morning time when it gets light. And it's bright all night through. So I'm very, very impressed as far as the payback's concerned for the 65 watt solar light fittings. And the three solar light fittings now that I've got here outside my house, they again come on for 12 hours now that I've altered the solar panels and they're working properly. So that's Les learning by his mistakes with the solar panels. Until the next time, till the next video, from Les living the dream in Thailand, bye for now.